we have the awareness level, we have the interest level, we have the decision level, and we have the action level. So these are actually the journey of our prospect from when they see our advert on whether Facebook or Google or TikTok or wherever we are putting the advert on the internet space to the point where they actually make it for change. That's what truthfulness is is all about. So it's necessary for us to actually be deliberate about the sales funnel. That's very, very important, that we are actually deliberate about our sales funnel. So, um, and for this sales funnel, we have different type of sales funnel. We have the traditional funnel, we have the membership funnel, we have the web webinar funnel, and we have the tripwire funnel, right? So these are all types of sales funnel. So we are actually going to be um, dealing up, um, we are going to be dealing with the types of this sales funnel, right? How we can use it to actually make money for ourselves. So that's actually what we are actually going to be doing in this whole class today. I hope we are ready for the class. So you guys should just give me like a minute. I just want to drink water, so give me like few, like maybe like one minute, just to sip water. So I'm back, guys. So let's let's dive in. So we have what is called the traditional sales funnel, right? At this traditional sales funnel, we have the awareness, we have the interest, we have the consideration, we have the intent, and then we have the purchase. So for every funnel, we are always going to be having the awareness level. Let me come here so that you can actually um, understand what I'm trying to say. Right? For every funnel, we are always going to have the awareness level. So at the awareness level is where we are actually um, raising the voice. We are actually uh, creating awareness for the product and the services. So you can actually be doing that on you could be doing that on Facebook, you could be doing that on Instagram, you could be doing that on TikTok, LinkedIn, whatever platform you are creating our awareness. So you can see that the awareness level is so big down to the interest. So at the interest level, for some of us who have been in this class um, um, since last year, you will understand that at the interest level, that's where people pick interest in what you are actually advertising. So they see your adverts and they are interested in uh, whatever your service, whatever your product or your service is. Then we have the consideration level. At the, at the consideration level, that is when we are actually comparing your, they are considering your, your product with some other version your competitors, right? So they are com com comparing whether your product or your services meet what they are actually looking for. Then at the evaluation level is when they are actually um, thinking maybe, should I go for this? Should I go for this product or not? Right, that's where they are actually trying to make their decision. Then at the buy level, which you will see by here, that's when you come to conclusion that your product is, act, is what they, they need. So that's for traditional foil. So we have here, you see, at the awareness level, you're introducing the product or service 
service to the potential customer interest generate in interest and educating prospects about the benefit consideration convincing prospects that the product or services is the right solution the intent nurturing leads to a ready to make a purchase then the purchase converting leads whenever you see leads leads actually means prospect So, uh, then we have the webinar level, uh, the webinar funnel, sorry. We have the webinar funnel. Understanding, I want you to know that understanding this type of um, funnel will actually help you to make a whole lot of money. If you understand how all this funnel works, So, if you understand how this works, you are, act, you are actually going to make a whole lot of money. So, we have the webinar funnel. If, I don't know, some of you must have enrolled to this course because we, we use the webinar funnel. So, we created an awareness that there's going to be a webinar for digital marketing class or something like that. Then some people sign up through the webinar. Then from the webinar, most people attend the webinar live. So they get registration and they attend the web uh, webinar. Then after the webinar, uh, we give out our offers. So let me give you a diagram re representation of that. So. At this level, where you are seeing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Thursday, you are seeing the registration pages. So here, we, what we do here is we are actually creating our awareness here at this particular place. We create our awareness, then People were invited to the webinar to where you see the confirmation pages there. People were invited to the webinar and the webinar hosted, let's say, on, on Thursday. Right? So a whole lot of people registered for the webinar. Inside that webinar, um, we still, that Thursday, the webinar held people paid in some money, then we still did a replay of the webinar on Friday. That's for people who missed the webinar on that Thursday. So Thursday was actually the webinar. But some people missed the uh, webinar on Thursday, and there was a replay of that webinar. That's for people who missed the webinar. We, 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 we dropped a replay for them on Friday. Then on Saturday, on Saturday, we give them the replay again with a cliff note. What we mean by um, uh, a cliff note is trying to. Okay, I thought this Okay. So, with, with a cliff note, we give them a cliff note about the webinar. So we give them a cliff note about the webinar. That's what we mean by cliff note is actually a guide about the replay. So we give them a cliff note, the replay plus the cliff note, a study guide. Then on Sunday, we now give them the replay, the guide, and we now create a, a, a sense of urgency that if you are interested in this 
a course or you are interested in these services we want to give to you, right? If you are going to make payment today, you will have access to some packages like that. And people buy it. So people buy the package because we created a sense of urgency to you. But what I just want you to know from this webinar for you is that there is, it's up, it comes from a journey. So there, there is a journey where we created awareness from the webinar. After the webinar, some people co were converted to sales. Some people paid immediately. Some people did not pay immediately. Some people, we still have to give them the replay. There are some people who, who missed the webinar. We didn't stop there. We still follow up those people, giving them the replay, still giving them the study guide. We didn't stop there. <laughs> So, as I was saying before, that person is going to start. So, we, you can see that they, it follows a procedure. So, we started from creating awareness for the product to which started creating awareness for the product or the services to the uh, Facebook platform or Instagram platform or whatever platform we, we were using to create the awareness. Then from there, we now move down. We tell the people about when the webinar is going to start. You can see the advert has started running from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But the webinar took place on Thursday. From on this Thursday, some people were converted to sales, some people made payments. On Friday, for people who missed the webinar, there was a replay that was sent to them. On Saturday, a replay, a replay plus a clip note. And I said the clip note is actually well, a study guide. It's a study guide written by the teacher or the instructor. Then on Sunday, we have the replay, we have the clip note, and we now created a sense of urgency. That, okay, you want to get this package, you want to get this, you want to get this, you want to get it, we are going to give you this, all this package for so so amount of money. So you can see how the journey goes before these people can be converted to sales. That's why it is always important for us to have a clarity about what sales funnel is all about. When you have this understanding of what sales funnel is all about, it will help you to make money and it will help your strategy. It will help your sales strategy. You know that we, we said there are three keys to marketing. I talked about product development, then I, um, I talk about pro product de development, I talk about market analysis, then I talk about sales strategy. So it is always very important for you to have a sales strategy. And one of the best ways to implement this sales strategy is using the sales funnel. Using the sales funnel will help you to implement your sales strategy very well. Then we have what is called the tripwire sales funnel. The tripwire sales funnel. So for the tripwire sales funnel, you have what is called a generation a lead generation what we say something is a lead a lead is a prospect and when we are talking about lead generation we are talking about baits that we use in getting our prospect let me give you an example of what i mean by this <laughs> Okay, so let's still talking about the tripwire funnel. I said our tripwire funnel, we need to start with what is called a lead generation. And I'm trying to explain what a lead generation is. 
So when we talk about lead generation, we are talking about what we use in attracting our potential customers. If I used to call it a bit, we use in attracting our uh, prospect. Let me give you an example of what I mean by lead generation. Let's say, for example, I, for some of us who are in Nigeria, for people who are in Nigeria, they will understand what I'm, uh, this example very well. Hence, I want to talk to, um, I want to sell to a group of JAM students. And I want to sell JAM uh, registration to a group of JAM students. I want to register them for JAM. And I don't know how to get these people. So the best way to attract them is to create a, a lead generation, uh, is, to is to create a lead generation. So your lead generation could be a book, it could be an e-book, it could be a free e-book, it could be that you are offering them a services, it could be that you are offering them a consultation, it must be something that you are using to attract your prospects. So I can write a book and say, um, this book is how to make 250 and above in jam. So that is going to attract my prospects, which are the students for jam, the jam bites. Right? So I can now create a community for these students that if you want to get this book, all you just need to do is to click on this link they will click the link in order to have access the book. So this is the thing. I can use the book to get their phone number. Right? I'll use the book to get their phone number. Then using their phone number and then add their phone number to my community. So I can click create a community now and say uh, the community is a Jambite community. Remember, what I actually want to sell to them is Jam registration. That's what I want to register these people for jam. But I have already used a lead generation magnet to attract these people. That's my free ebook of how to make 250, uh, how to make 250 and above in jam. That, that's the uh, ebook I use in attracting them. Then I use I got I use that ebook now in an exchange for their phone number. So I can now add these people, their phone number to my community. Let's say I've, I've gotten like um, about 2,000 from these students who are interested in this free ebook that I'm giving to them. Now I can now sell to these students. Are you getting me? So I can now sell to these students now. Then when Jam form comes out, I can now tell them that, okay, if you want to register for Jam, all you just need to do is make a little amount of payment. You know why? They will trust me because I've already given them a free ebook before now. So now, let's now talk about, now I just explained what the tripwire funnel is. So let's now talk about tripwire sales funnel. And we said one of the requirements for a tripwire sales funnel, or one of the things you need, for a, a trip wires sales funnel is lead generation. You need a lead, lead generation, you need a trip wire offer, you need an upsell or a cross sell, then you need a call offer. Then I'm going to explain all this to you in order for you to have a clearer understanding. So what I mean by trip wire offer is that you must present a low cost. So you've actually gotten You've attracted your, your prospects, that's your potential customers. You've been able to attract them with the lead generation magnet. Then you can now move down to the tripwire offer. So the tripwire offer is that you can now present a low cost to them. You can say oh, something that maybe other people are selling. Let's say this works very well for digital product. Maybe something that some other person are selling for 10,000 naira. You can just give it to them at a ridiculous price of 1,000 naira. We do that even in our webinar also. So something of 120,000 naira, you can give it at a ridiculous, a ridiculous fee of uh, 
80,000 Naira. Alright? So, you need to be strategic. We are teaching you all these things as a digital marketer so that you can actually make money for yourself or you can make money for your organization. So, when you are talking to, uh, when an organization hire you, they know that you are talking from a perspective of someone who has an understanding of what digital marketing is actually all, all about. So you can give them the offer, present a low cost offer of ridiculous like 1,000 euro, something that you know that it will not be hard for your prospect to, to do away with, like the kind of money that you know that is, is going to be easier for your prospect to give out. So the kind of money that you know that it will be very easy for your prospect to give out. So that's the kind of offer that you present to them. That's what we do as a cheap wire offer. So cheap wire offer is you are presenting a low cost. So you present something low to them. Something low, but that thing you are presenting low must have a high value. It must be a high value product to convert leads into a paying customer. So you are offering something of 1,000 Naira. It's 1,000 Naira, but when the prospects are getting it, they are getting so much value from it. So when your prospects are getting it, they are getting so much value from it. They are like, wow, all these things I'm getting for 1,000 Naira, like it's wow them. They cannot believe it. So they can't believe it that all these packages you are, you are giving them for a thousand euro. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So that's what um, cheap wire funnel is all about. Let me give you the diagram so that you can, you can have an understanding better. So we have the lead magnet that I, I mentioned earlier down to the tripwire offer. So you can say, okay, look at this now. For this tripwire, right, this is a $7 or free, uh, uh, $7 for a particular product or, or, or free products plus shipping, right? So you order, then from there, you now move down to core offer. Now let me explain. Uh, a core offer, right? A core offer is you are introducing the main product. Now, the cheap wire offer is that's not the product you actually want to sell. That is not the product you have intention of selling. The product you have intention of selling is coming, is now coming. Let's say, for example, I want to sell a course, and the course I want to sell is digital marketing course. I can take one aspect of digital marketing and sell it. I can sell, let's say, affiliate marketing for 2,000 euros. People are going to rush it. For that affiliate marketing for 2,000 euros, that's a whole lot. That's a whole lot offer. That I'm, I'm giving a whole lot value in that cost for that 2,000 euros. Like, it's so, as in, people are wowed. Man, this thing, this affiliate marketing course that you are giving out just for 2,000 naira, people are going to buy it. 2,000 naira for that course, people are buying. But what I actually want to sell is digital marketing course. So, but because of the um, value I've been able to give for the affiliate marketing, it will be easier for them to trust me to buy my digital marketing class. I hope you what I'm trying to say. So that's what the core offer is all, all about. So the core of offer is three times what you are offering for the cheap wire. That's where you say payment plan, three times. Right? So it can be, the, the core offer can be $21. Right? So the core offer can be what? Can be twenty 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 one dollar you see, but you can see where the journey comes from, from the lead magnet to the trip wire, 
from the tripwire to the core offer, right? From the core offer, um, they are giving the payment plan, right? From the payment plan to the profit maximizer, right? So you can see the journey. That's what we mean by when we are talking about uh, sales funnel. That's what we actually mean by uh, sales funnel. You can see the journey, the journey of our customer from lead magnet to to the trip wire, from the trip wire to the to the core offer, right? From the core offer to the profit maximizer. So when we are talking about a, a, a profit maximizer, that maximizer, sorry, you see maximizer, uh, profit maximizer. So when we are talking about profit maximizer, we are talking about the upsell or the cross-sell. And I'm going to uh, explain what a cross-sell or upsell means. So a upsell is you are offering additional products or services at higher price point. So now we do this most of the time. In short, in our webinar, we are always applying all the strategy in it in order for us to just make sales because you have to be strategic. So you are giving a whole lot of value. You are still giving an additional offer. You are still telling them that, okay, um, after, apart from this router marketing class, we are going to be telling you how you are going to uh, get online jobs. You can see that's an offer to it again. Join with the course. So someone is not actually buying the course only because they want to learn uh, digital marketing alone. They are buying the course because there's another offer that says that uh, that says that they are actually going to be teaching you how you can get clients or um, international jobs and any um, things like that as a digital marketer. So that's the upsell. So the upsell is the addition. We call it add-ons. What you are adding to it, addition to it, is what is actually known as um, upsell. So when you have this understanding, it will help your sales strategy. It will help your sales strategy. You've converted a whole lot of people using this strategy. So knowledge is actually quite helpful. The reason why some people are making money online, right, and why some people are not making money online is just because of the fact that they don't understand how sales funnel works. When you have this understanding of how sales funnel works, it will be easier for you to make money online as a digital marketer. Then, let's now talk about lead magnet funnel. So, we talked about lead magnet funnel. So, now we understand what the lead magnet means or what the lead generation means. So, lead generation is offer a valuable resource, ebook, webinar in exchange for contact information. The nurture sequence, send targeted email. These days, people don't use emails anymore. I would have said send targeted WhatsApp messages. Send targeted WhatsApp messages to build a relationship and trust with your prospect. So you are sending messages to your prospect, letting your prospect know that you are actually a genuine person, right? Then you offer them the sales. Because people are actually going to buy from you when they trust you. So it's when they trust you enough, that's when they can actually buy from you. Then you have your sales offer. Present a, rele a relevant product or service after establishing trust. So you understand what I mean now. So I said people are actually going to buy from you when they trust you. When they now trust you better, that's when they can actually buy from you. When they don't trust you, sorry is your name. They are not going to buy from you. And they are not, they definitely ain't buying from you. So you have a landing page, right? Or you, after you run your advert, you have a landing page to a, a confirmation page 
to the tertiary phase. All these ones are just the journey of the lead magnet, right? Get the awesome gift. So the awesome gift is what I, I was talking about. Like I was talking about, um, I was talking about books or those stuff that I was talking about the other time. So it could be a book, it could be you are given a free a free course, you are given a free of your time to just to all you are trying to do is to establish trust when you are using the um, lead magnet funnel. Then we have the membership funnel. The membership funnel. So most of the people who use this membership funnel are mostly are mostly um, software companies. So I don't know, maybe it has happened to you before that you install a software, they give you a membership or they give you, they allow you to access that software for a particular, they give you a trial, okay? Let me just use that word. So they give you a trial, they give you like seven day trial just for you to to be familiar, to familiarize with the, with the, oh, to, be, to familiarize with the software. So they give you like a seven day trial or 10 days trial or whatever trial they, they want to give, give to you. So they'll give you that trial. Then after then, the next thing is that they started asking for money after the seven day trial. So what they are actually doing there is that they are trying to build trust. They want to build trust. They want you to. They want you to enjoy their service. Their service, what they have to offer for you. They want you to enjoy it. So when you are, when you see that you are enjoying it, they come and they say, okay, you have to pay for this service. This service costs so 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 amount of money. I hope you guys are understanding what I'm trying to say. So, offer a free or low cost entry point to a membership. Then they give you the upsell, provide additional benefit, and convince members to upgrade. Then, retention, engage customers to reduce churn and encourage long term subscription. So, yeah, you have a free video. They give you $1 trial, right? Then you check out all that year. One dollar, then the upgrade comes there. Then you have the mem uh, members area, right? So the, when they say, okay, so in order for you to join this membership, you are going to, you can see the journey here from free video or from uh, free book or maybe lead generation or whatever they are doing. Then from there, you have a, a one dollar trial. Sometimes it could be free trial. Then after that, you get your uh, free trial. Then from there, you have the upsell. They will now upgrade you. And they say, okay, in order for you to be able to get the whole of these uh, packages and all that, you need to pay a so, 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 so amount of money. So if you pay the amount of money, you'll be moved to the membership area. Even it happens even in this class that you were in a particular group before, right? But is when you pay a particular amount of money that you will move to another group where you can get the value for what you paid for. So you become a member of that particular uh, group. So it is all very, it is very um, nice for you to understand this funnels, how it works, so that it can actually help your, your sales when you are making sales online. Then, oh, sorry. <laughs> so that's the end of uh, sales funnel. That's the end of sales funnel. So we talked about what the sales funnel, we talked about the traditional funnel, we talked about webinar funnel, we talked about tripwire funnel, Talk about lead magnet funnel. Talk about membership funnel. Sorry. So that.
that is the end of today's class. So I hope you guys understand all these things I've actually been teaching since morning. So if you if you understand or if you have a question for me, if you have a question for me, you can just unmute and ask your your question. If you have a question for me, you can just unmute and ask your question. Any question? Okay, let me start with uh, Madam Jayola on mute. Do you understand? This class. Have I been talking to myself? I do. Do you understand this class? Yes, I do. Any question? No question so far. You can unmute. I just want to unmute. Okay. Um. Good evening, sir. I actually came a bit late. I didn't really get what the topic was about. So you have the recorded video, sir. From the recorded video, you have a better understanding. So we were talking about sales funnel and the different types of sales funnel that we have. That's what we've been talking about. The journey of our customers, how we can convert our prospects to sales. And I gave different types of funnels and how we've been using them to convert to sales. And how you yourself can, can implement it, right, on your own uh, product or your service in order for you to make sales. See, a whole lot of people are using this funnel. You can actually use it for your own business also. Like the doctors, they offer like the doctors, they offer um, free consultation. Free consultation is just a free consultation is just a lead magnet just to get your attention. You and I know that when you go to that hospital for that free consultation, the doctor must see something. The doctor must see something that this thing is wrong with you. And from there, they will convert it to sales. So you, you will pay for them seeing something wrong with you. That's just the same thing up that, um, that's the, why you should apply this sales strategy your own business also. Have a strategy that can guide your customer from when they see your adverts to the point where you can actually convert them to sales. That's all we've been talking about. That's all we've been talking about. So I talked about different funnel. I talked about webinar funnel, people funnel, membership funnel, then the traditional funnel. 